And I'll tell you what now, and this is my little humble opinion, I now feel, and really we should save this bit for the verdict, but I'm going to go straight in with it anyway, I now feel this is now the proper replacement to the MC. Gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another review from us. And this time it is all about this beast. It is McCormick's brand new X6 uh, tractor series, specifically known as the X6 P6 drive range. There are three models in the series. We've got the X6.413, the 414 and the 415. Now these replace what we're known as the X6.420, 430 and 440 models. And essentially this new series is pretty much new from the ground up compared to its predecessor. So we've got more power across the board from an updated Stage 5 FPT engine. It's got a brand new gearbox built in-house by McCormick. Obviously, it's got brand new styling, and to top it off, it has got a brand new, an all new cab, new layout, basically the lot. So we've got lots to discuss with this review. So our model that we have on test is the X6.415, X6 being the series, the dot four meaning uh, four cylinders, and the 15 relating to the tractor's power level. So in terms of that power level, we have a 144 horsepower on tap and we've also got a little bit of boost which takes us up to a 154 horsepower which kicks in with transport duties and PTO work. In fact, it's even kicked in a little bit now as well which it is telling me so that's uh, all helping us along a little bit. So transmission wise, we have a true 24 by 24 speed semi power shift transmission which we'll talk a lot more about later we have a 7.2 ton rear linkage lift capacity and we've got a hydraulic pump capacity of 123 liters per minute in addition the machine we have got has come very well equipped this is certainly a high spec machine as you can see we've got the uh, what McCormick calls its DSM touchscreen terminal we've got all electric spools and as you can see from the outside, it is sporting this rather striking cherry red metallic paint job with accompanying matte black wheels. As ever, if you are watching this review on one of our social media channels, unfortunately for you guys, it will run out very shortly. But for you not, head on over to thatlandpowertv.com where you can watch the review in full. There's no adverts getting in the way and we've got all the specs on there for you to uh, go with the video. So then, on with the review. And already we've done quite a few jobs with this uh, X6 tractor. We've had it on a straw bedder around the yard. It's been on a muck spreader. And right now I am attempting to do a little bit of grassland subsoiling. Although I think it is fair to say the ground is a little bit too tender at the moment so we'll see how that one goes and then hopefully we might get a chance to do a little bit of tillage work so that is the plan so for now sit back enjoy and we shall crack on Right 
Right, ladies and gents, so I think we'll kick off this review with a bit of cab chat because there's quite a bit to get through. Like I say, it is an all new cab on this new X6 series from McCormick. So I'll just get to the end here and then I think we'll pull up because that will make it a much easier to have a little bit of a chat about this new cab. So on to this cab then, and like I mentioned before, it is an all new cab and it is another component of the tractor that is built in house. Uh, by McCormick it has I mean it has changed quite a bit I mean the most striking thing is is this massive roof window that they've got for the upwards visibility which would make this a really good uh, loader tractor it's got a nice sort of you might say skinny cross member uh, across there as well which isn't sort of impeding views one thing to be aware of though, it is a slightly taller cab uh, compared to its predecessors. So if you are sticking a loader on this tractor or you are using it uh, around the yard kind of as we have uh, with the bedding machine, it's extra little bit of height is something to be aware of, especially if you are working in, in and out of those traditional buildings. Also, got to be said, uh, the materials, I would say, compared to the previous X6, I would say they have improved slightly. It just feels a little bit more solid, just a bit better fit and finish. And that could just be me. I mean, we'll see what you guys think of it if you ever get your hands on them. Now, the one thing that hasn't changed in here is the dash, which is exactly the same as the previous uh, X6s. Now, I think it's fair to say, well, actually, in my little humble opinion, it ain't the sexiest dash on the market but it does do the job very very well it's all there and it's all functional and it's all pretty clear so you've got some nice analog dials for your key bits of information such as your fuel level your engine temp and your rev gauge and then in the center there's a nice little i suppose you could call it an lcd uh, display monochrome lcd display which has just Again, just some more key, uh, some more key information for you, such as your gear selection, whether it's you've selected forward or reverse, your speed, your PTO speed, things like that. You know, add blue level, and you can have you use this little scroll wheel down here, and you can trot through the right-hand portion of that little screen, and you can see and set quite a few of the tractor's features and functions. But because this is quite a high spec machine, you can do all the tractor setup through this DSM touchscreen terminal. Just continuing around this sort of centre console area, there is a nice bit of adjustment in it, uh, which is an electric button on the side, which you just press here, and it allows you to move the steering wheel back and forwards like that. And then there's a little lever that you unlock on the side, which allows you to do the telescoping position as well. So you can get it in quite a good position and even when you do get it in a nice position there's still lots of room to get in and out without actually having to move the steering wheel all the time which is always a good thing uh, in my book 